Hello, and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, Will O'Reilly, coming back at you again with a new video. So in this video, we're gonna talk about Lilith and Gemini. So what is Lilith? Well, according to biblical references, uh, Lilith was the first wife of Adam, right? And I think this is actually in the Jewish Bible, correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway, it's not in the Christian Bible, but it was in one of the Bibles, right? Lilith was the first wife of Adam, but she was very intense. She was very headstrong, right? She, she could not be controlled. So they ended up throwing her out of the garden and then God created Eve, who was more submissive. So exactly like her, Lilith is a part of your chart that cannot be controlled. It's the darker aspect of you. It's also the secretive part of yourself. So what is Gemini, right? So Gemini is one of the first air signs. It is the twins and they have a duality, right? Geminis can either be, you know, backstabbers or they can be your best friends. They kind of like a little bit moody, right? And Geminis are very curious. They have a childlike wonder about them. People with Gemini aspects, like a Gemini rising, they often get, um, they often get told that they're like, oh, you look 18 and they're 25 or they're 30 because they look very youthful and young. And also their personality is very fun loving. Geminis are very playful. They have this childlike wonder. They're very curious by nature and very, very intelligent because they're ruled by Mercury, which is the sign of communication, the sign of um, learning, thinking, intellect, right? They're blessed by being ruled by the sign of Mercury. So when your Lilith is in Gemini, you're actually ashamed of these attributes. You're ashamed of these characteristics that you have, right? So I have Lilith and Gemini. And oftentimes or not, I feel like I talk too much. And as a child, you might have been shamed for having your Lilith and Gemini and you kind of put it on the back burner and molded yourself into what you wanted people to experience with you. So maybe when you're by yourself, you're looking up facts all the time, you're learning about a certain subject, maybe you're autistic, I don't know, I don't want to bring that into it because that could be any sign, but more often than not, it could be, a lot of air signs are, and you really love to learn, you love knowledge, you love learning things, but they have to be very specific. Like for me, I adore astrology. I love learning about tarot. I love learning about angel numbers. I love learning about uh, star seeds and things like that. It's really interesting to me. But with Lilith and Gemini, when you were younger, your parents might have shamed you. Don't have to, not necessarily just your parents. It could have been like a friend. It could have been a community. Maybe they shamed you for having this curiosity. They told you you're talking too much. You're being annoying or something along those lines. So you slowly but surely kind of put that on the back burner and you stopped talking so much about the, these cool facts that you learned. And one thing I would suggest to people that have Lilith and Gemini or Gemini aspects in general, you know, air sign, air sign gang, I'm an Aquarius sun, Aquarius Mercury. You need to find a friend group that really appreciates your knowledge and supports you. And a lot of my best friends are Geminis. A lot of my best friends are Aquarius or Libras. And that's because they understand me and they like to have intellectual stimulation. You know, earth signs are kind of like, man, they're more chill and fire signs are more action oriented, but Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini have the most fun when they're having a good conversation, when they're having a good debate even. And air signs are able to have debates without bringing their emotions into it. Because sometimes when you're debating with someone, if they put their identity into what they're defending, then things can get very explosive, right? <laughs> but air signs are very good at taking their emotions out of debates. So they can debate all day with you and they think it's fun, right? And Gemini has uh, is notorious for flipping and choosing because one day they could be very, very strong and knowing like, this is the way, this, uh, I learned that this, that the sky is blue, it has to be blue. And then the other day they learned that, oh, actually the sky is a rainbow and my, my eyes 
blur out all the colors except for blue. So now the sky's a rainbow. You know, they, they switch and they turn, but they mean well. So the important thing for Lilith with Gemini is to find a good friend group that really appreciates you, that also likes to be intellectually stimulating, or you can find a good outlet for talking for sharing these facts. For me, it's YouTube. For others, it might be a blog. For some, it could be a book. For some people that are more artistic, it could be songwriting. It could be playing an instrument and kind of taking all your thoughts and putting it into that. Or a podcast. Even podcasts are great for Lilith and Gemini. The, excuse me, the downside I see with Lilith and Gemini is sometimes because they can get in trouble because with Lilith and Gemini, they're so curious. They want to see what would happen if I did this? What would happen if I did that? And they kind of get in trouble because they do things that aren't very ethically great. And I've learned through my life to that karma is real and to do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Like, don't gossip about people. Don't shit talk people. And you cut, you're above that, right? So evolved Geminis, they don't really do that anymore. If you're unevolved or if you're kind of younger, then you might kind of, you'll, you'll learn from experience that karma is real and it comes around, goes around, comes around. Okay, where was I, where was I going with this point? Man. <laughs> uh, with Lilith and Gemini, it's important that you don't feel shame over your enthusiasm because everybody has a passion. You're supposed to find a job that lights you up. And for some people, it's making your own business and you know, being your own boss. And for other people, you have to kind of take a job to pay the bills, but you should go to school on the side and really choose a major that interests you and that really lights you up inside. If you can't do that, at least go for your dreams. Like make that song, write that book, make that blog. And with Lilith and Gemini, an important thing that I've, I've figured out recently is like you can keep a journal and you can write all your thoughts down. So, because sometimes we have this way of spilling all the information out on one person that'll listen to us and it's a, it's a bit much. So you wanna find a good outlet. It can be YouTube, a podcast, but also have a private outlet that helps you. So it could be, and, it, and because you're always thinking with Lilith and Gemini, sometimes you need to do something physical to help you get out of your head because you can, you're prone to overthinking. And this goes for any air sign, but Gemini especially, you might overthink. So, you know, go longboarding, go skateboarding, go take a walk, go do some yoga, go to the gym, work out. Like, that, that'll really help you get more grounded. A lot of people might say that Lilith and Gemini are more gullible. And that's because they have a certain innocence about them. And they're kind of, like, playful and they're silly at their best points. And that kind of some people might say that you're not intelligent because of that so just kind of let those people do their thing I've learned that it's good to have childlike wonder and growing up a lot of that gets pushed out of us so you should kind of hold on to that and be around someone who is your partner who matches that childlike curiosity that likes to be silly with you that likes to tell jokes that likes to go on like play laser tag or run for races because we all grow up too fast so Lilith and Gemini, I know that was a bit, <laughs> that was kind of here and there. I might do another video, like a part two of this, but let me know what your sign is below, what your Lilith is in, and I'll see if I can do a video on that too. So thanks guys. See you later. Bye.